Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry, yes. it's just to let you know they'll be leaving soon, so okay. I'll just let what Kapal is? that you know that you're in here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Five, five minutes. That was fantastic. Oh, really, really, really inspirational. I will look at the website. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. One thing I wondered actually, um, I don't know, we, we have a very, um, in, the, in the University in the Geography Department, we have, um, I think, what is a very good glaciology group. Really? Uh, led by a woman called Professor Taylor Murray, who um, certainly goes out to bring that a lot. Right. Um, I mean, what they do is probably a bit beyond me because it's quite scientific. But, um, uh, well, and we also have a, a program called Bridging the Gaps, which is funded by the EPSRC, all right. which is all about bringing people together from different disciplines. Yeah. So, if you don't mind, I'll mention this to sure, the yeah. program manager when I go back. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure you're very busy and you've got lots of other things on, but you know, maybe the. Well, we're we doing a. Invite you down. We're actually doing a project in uh, Carlick Bay. Right. We're right. Right. doing something with the new uh, defence building structures. Just give right. 15 minutes and we're going to finish. Yeah, because I need to do interviews here from the poets down there and actually address climate issues. Yeah, so we do come down there. Okay, okay. Well, I'll look into that. Great, fantastic. Lovely to meet you. Have you got any copies of the book left or have they all gone? Uh, they're, they're, I think they've just taken them out now. Have they? Yeah. Oh, shit. You might have ones. <laughs> extra luggage, but I mean, well, would you like one of these? I, I would love to read. I mean, yeah. it's a perfect. Material for the plane, actually. So yeah. I'm trying not to yeah. sleep on the plane. Well, look, let me give you this. Mm. Where, where are, you going? are you going first from this week? We are. I'm well, not sure. I, I think I'm going with you. Are you? So okay. I'll try and find you something as a, oh, a don't replication worry, don't of it. That's great. Thanks okay. for having us on. I enjoyed the, uh, the history of this. Yeah. Right. It's fantastic. Okay. Okay. All right. Mr. Chris? Uh, Professor Chris. Are, you, right? are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. I will introduce you first, and then uh, first to the camera, and I'll turn to you, and we have a conversation very quickly. Okay. Great. Right. <laughs> Professor Chris. One, two, and... Free. Hi, welcome to the National Quiz Choice Online News. My name is Robin Steinberg, and welcome to the Steinberg Review. And today we have a very special guest, uh, none other than uh, Professor Chris uh, Wingwright, uh, who is the head of Cam uh, uh, Campbell Bellwell, uh, Chelsea and Wolperton Colleges, and he's also the past president of the European League of Institutes of the Arts, which is known as ELIA. And he's here in Singapore to speak about of uh, his artistry and his philosophy of what art means to him. And now, uh, uh, Professor Chris, uh, thank you for joining me here at the National Quiz Choice. It's a pleasure. You know, uh, you, know you have uh, to share with us what, uh, uh, what has to be done project that you have done so far, and uh, you know, it's been going around the world uh, at this point of time. Tell us, though, what's your philosophy of art, and where is art going uh, right now? Well, I, I think art really has a purpose. Uh, it has a collective purpose as well as a purpose for individuals. And I think one of my strong beliefs is that we must use art to uh, make visible some of the really important things that are happening in the world. I particularly feel that there are a number of issues. Issues around environment and climate change, issues around identity, issues around technology, and also social engagement. For me, they en encompass the four things that art can make some uh, address to, and that artists can actually make some contributions to those issues. Whether they're working in whatever medium they choose, artists can come together and make a strong uh, creative voice around some of the pressing issues of our time. Personally, I'm very involved in the environment. I make work about climate change. I work with scientists, with musicians, with actors, with poets, as a way of trying to raise consciousness about some of the environmental issues that we're facing. So for me, uh, art is, is useful because it actually has the ability to change people's minds and influence people in a creative way. Now, speaking about uh, being creative, how important uh, innovation is uh, today? And how can one uh, actually pursue innovation 
because uh, you know, Asians uh, here, especially in Singapore, are trying to seek ways on how they can cultivate innovation in their lives and creativity. So is innovation and creativity yeah. cultivated uh, by birth or was, is it by training or was, is it actually by intuition? Well, training plays a really important part. I, th I think there's a, a romantic idea that it's from birth. Um, there are some naturally very talented and gifted people, but I think training is very, very important. Um, the, the right guidance, the, 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 the quality of education, the quality of experiences, and the exposure to a wide range of creative influences. So for, for me to, to you know, take young people to galleries, to museums, to theatres, is, is creating something that will give them inspiration. And so cultural impact and training and education are, are vital aspects of innovation. Now what's next uh, for your project? What has to be done? Where, uh, where is it going? And is it going to be headed towards here in Asia? It's coming to Beijing mm -hmm. in, in May. Um, there's a big exhibition there, 23 artists, uh, all of whom have been involved with climate change. A uh, very diverse group of artists from across the world working in different medium. After that, I think the exhibition will probably stop. It's been touring for four years. Oh, wow. And and has it hasn't been in Singapore yet? It's not been in Singapore. Oh. It's, if somebody wants to bring it to Singapore <laughs> after, after March, then that, that's fine. But at the moment, there aren't any plans to take it anywhere after Beijing. Um, but we'll produce new exhibitions from new, new, uh, new journeys and new voyages. Now, what was your inspiration behind this project? What has to be, to be done? Well, it, it was really to reinvigorate the question about the relationship between alternative energy and nuclear power and whether we can find different ways of solving our energy problems for the future. So it's going back to a discussion from the 1980s and re reanimating that discussion in, in the current climate where we clearly have very, very high energy needs now and we probably need to look at more innovative ways of solving the energy problem. No. Alternative energy, yeah. you know, uh, and nuclear energy. What are your views on, on this? Do you think that it is good for our planet? And do do you think personally, uh, what can be done? I think we have to look at new ways of creating forms of energy that are less damaging. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons we use oil is because there's huge subsidies going into oil. If we shifted the subsidies towards uh, alternative energy, we would probably have a safer planet. I also think we should think about using uh, uh, legislation to create a waste tax. You know, if, if, if we create waste, if we create uh, pollution, there should be a tax on that to stop people looking at uh, using technologies that are wasteful and damaging. Now, what is the role of the artist today? What do you think? Well, I, I think to address those issues, to, to make, make their art um, and make their um, discussions around those issues. And before we add, uh, Professor Chris, what's next for you after this uh, this, this wonderful project? Yeah. Um, well, I'm doing some exhibitions. I'm doing an exhibition in Taipei in, mm -hmm. in uh, March next year. I'm doing an exhibition in Japan about the tsunami. I've just been there a couple of weeks ago to, to make work there. And I continue to teach and lecture and uh, promote. Any, any, any plans for your, for your biography? Uh, not yet. <laughs> One day. You know, but you know, anyway, uh, Professor Chris, um, thank you for joining us here at the National Critics' Choice uh, okay. and the Steinberg Review. And for folks, please uh, do keep in touch with us and also look up at his Facebook or even his website uh, uh, by Professor Chris uh, Winwright. And in, in the meantime, keep in touch with us on YouTube. I'm Robin Steinberg. Have a good day ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Sorry. So oh, sorry. Uh, oh, wait, it's a uh, end. Uh, just, just, uh, just so we.